Understanding the phrase, I'm not a fan of it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a commonly used English phrase, I'm not a fan of it. This expression is widely used in everyday conversations, and understanding its nuances can greatly enhance your English communication skills. Let's explore what this phrase means, when to use it, and some examples to help you get comfortable with it. When someone says, I'm not a fan of it, they are essentially expressing a mild form of dislike or disinterest towards something. It's a polite and indirect way of saying that something does not appeal to them or that they do not enjoy it. This phrase is useful because it allows you to express your feelings without being too harsh or negative. I'm not a fan of it can be used in various contexts, ranging from discussing food preferences to talking about hobbies, music, movies, or even certain behaviors. It's perfect for situations where you want to be honest about your feelings but also want to maintain a friendly or neutral tone in the conversation. To help you understand how to use this phrase in real-life scenarios, let's look at some examples. 1. Food and drink. I've tried sushi before, but I'm not a fan of it. 2. Music and movies. They asked if I like horror movies. I said I'm not a fan of them. 3. Activities and hobbies. My friends love hiking, but personally, I'm not a fan of it. 4. Fashion and style. High heels might be trendy, but I'm not a fan of them. While, I'm not a fan of it, is a great phrase to use. There are several alternatives that can convey a similar sentiment. Some of these include, it's not my cup of tea, I don't particularly like it. It doesn't appeal to me. I'm not into it. Using different phrases can add variety to your language and help you sound more like a native speaker. We hope this video has helped you understand how to use and interpret the phrase, I'm not a fan of it. Remember, it's a polite and indirect way to express disinterest or dislike and it can be incredibly useful in keeping your conversations smooth and pleasant. Don't forget to practice using it in your daily English conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.